when choosing an university it's important that you really connect with the university hence this video is about choosing the right university for you especially for those applying for the global career scholarship program hello welcome to the global career scholarship program undergraduates guide and today's video is important for those who are still confused about the university they'll be applying for because in gks especially the undergraduates they're quite there's a limit in terms of the number of universities you can apply for, especially with the university track. But even if both tracks embassy in the university, it's important for you to choose effectively and be able to identify which university really is for you. First and foremost, I tried to find or confirm to myself the specific track i wanted to focus on since i'm under i'm applying for the graduates program i'm doing masters in business administration but i know for a fact that i'll be doing a masters in business administration that's clear to my mind then that's the first step make sure the degree you're applying for is clear to your mind for an embassy track you're going to apply to multiple schools with multiple majors but as a caveat to that applying to different majors make it hard for you to solidify your essay hence I actually um, discourage doing that make sure it's something relevant or related to each other so it's easier for you to craft your essay relating to these majors second step once that it's clear in your mind what you want to take check on the university the initial scanning for the universities that offer that major so if it doesn't if the university in Korea does not offer that major remove that from the list only the majors that offered MBA are the ones I considered for my application so all those without MBA I removed them to further filter my choices I made sure to identify where I want to study I want to study in Seoul I want to study outside Seoul my initial choice is and my final choice is to study in Seoul because I wanted to stay in Seoul. Since my first time in Korea, I thought to myself I wanted to stay in Seoul. So another filter I put is I want to study in Seoul. So all outside Seoul were already filtered out from the list. To narrow it down deeper, I checked for the top universities offered offering the major I want. So I made sure that the university is on the top, at least top five top 10 of the business schools in south korea and those outside top 10 although it's like an elitist or something like a, a not a good filter but for me since this is a scholarship and i'm trying to dream dream bigger i choose i chose a universe i chose a university that is on the top 10 so at least i can learn from them with their advanced um, business theories and methods being being taught to class and then after choosing the these filters i now research one by one i checked the university motto the university credo the university direction when it comes to the school their color even their um, values core values if this they align to me and then i also researched each of the university courses so it's a hard re hardcore research i would really tell you like my file my laptop was filled with like 15 20 folders with each folder containing like six seven files of the courses i found from each university and although they are in korean i had to use papago or translator to study and understand the courses they offer this is a very important step because you must understand what you are signing up for and the courses they offer if you just signed up and then you don't know that they are using korean as the medium of instruction it's hard i'm studying 100 percent english but from the friends i know who are studying 100 percent korean every class is a struggle remember if you're gonna be doing thesis there's a com the comprehensive exam wherein you'll be studying and taking an exam related to the courses and then you have to pass them before taking starting with your thesis mind you these comprehensive exams can be conducted in korean which is very difficult so if you don't choose to major the language correctly 
you may end up suffering when you start study. And now that you have narrowed down all the list of universities you have now in mind based on what appeals to you, now look for the opportunities the university offer. Do they have internship opportunities? Do they have a big alumni group? Do they have partnerships with big companies? These are very important because after your studies, the next inevitable step is for you to enter the workplace. And that could lead you to possible job employments if your university itself has a lot of connections. At Honey University, they do a lot of job fairs and the companies they invite are big. Hyundai, Samsung, LG, um, these top companies, Lotte. So all of these are connected and therefore, it's important for you to find those universities with high connections. We're now moving on with what you will be doing after you study. So make sure that after you just study, the future part is also clear and something that it can help you succeed here in South Korea. And with those things I did, I just have to choose the last step, which is my gut feel. I had to make sure that what I feel will be the university giving me the best education is the one I'll choose. So that in the end of the day, I don't have regrets with the university I chose. And that's how I did and how I chose Hanyu University for my graduate school of Korean Asian Business Studies MBA. And I hope this helps.